What's going on guys, it's Brandon back here again today just for a quick recap video of the 2023 Stanley Cup playoffs. I did this at the end of last year's playoffs. I think I involved predictions in it last year as well. Um, I'm not going to talk about my predictions in this video. It makes it less complicated and just a quick recap so we can all remember this year's playoffs. So, this video is being recorded after the previous two that were, I, I, one should be posted two days, when this video goes up, it, this was recorded two days ago, along with the Vegas Golden Knights game, or the uh, game five of the final, and then the series review of the final. So, this is just a Stanley Cup Finals recap, and then I'm just recording these ahead of time, just so I don't have to worry about timing and that sort of thing, so I want to get these all up pretty quickly. So, we're going to recap the 2023 Stanley Cup playoffs here, shouldn't be too long of a video. But we'll just talk about it. So this year's playoffs, we saw 16 teams, as usual, go up against each other. We saw some new faces. We saw Seattle make its first playoff appearance. We saw Florida after make the playoffs barely. And, of course, they go on the run. And it all starts with Chicago beating Pittsburgh in game 81 of their season. Which ends up allows Chicago to end up getting Bedard because they, they get the third overall seed. Because Columbus also beats Pittsburgh. And this whole set of Chicago beating Pittsburgh set in motion a sequence of events that led to the Stanley Cup final. So that led to Florida getting to the final. It's crazy. We saw comebacks. We saw curses gotten rid of. We saw upsets. We saw a bit of everything in this year's playoffs. It was pretty unpredictable. Let me just move this over a little bit. It's bothering me. So we'll start with the first round. Colorado and Seattle. Colorado and Seattle. How did I say that twice? So Colorado, the defending champions... In 2022, they won the Stanley Cup last year, and of course, they don't repeat this year. They go play against the Seattle Kraken, who are making their first ever playoff appearance in their second season. They're the uh, it's the number one in the West, the number one in the Central versus the Wild Card one, who's in the Pacific. And um, Seattle ends up defeating Colorado in seven games in a crazy upset that not many people expected. Uh, Colorado did have some injuries, but so did Seattle. So it was impressive for Seattle to come out and come out and beat the defending champions in seven games. Was it wait? Was it seven? Or was it six? I think it was seven. Yeah, it was seven, right? Seven games. I think it was seven. We'll go with seven. So um, and I really want to check. <laughs> now I'm getting delusional with myself. Um, just quickly search this up so I don't look stupid because I already do. And I just gonna make a playoffs. There we go. Bless phones for the sort of thing. And uh, let me just get, pull up a bracket real quick just so I can see. Um, why is my mind blanking? Uh, well, I'm gonna pause it here and be back in a moment. I probably should have done that a while back. Sorry about that. That was I'm an idiot. It wasn't seven games. I'm just dilute. I just second guess myself for whatever reason. So yeah, Seattle ends up beating Colorado, and it's a, it's considered an upset. And it's a series that I also had Colorado defeating Seattle. That's, that's all. I'll just say who I thought was going to win the series. Now between Dallas and Minnesota, I did think Dallas was going to win this series in seven games, and of course that doesn't that does, almost happens. Minnesota, although a double overtime game one. Doesn't is not able to hold on, and the Dallas Stars defeat them as the number two beats the number three in the Central. So and that's in six games. Moving on, the start of the run, Winnipeg defeats Vegas in Game One as they are their second wild card, going up against number one in the West and number one in the Pacific. Vegas, Vegas wins four straight after losing Game One, and that starts their run off well. And that's a series that I had going six games. Edmonton and L.A. Repeat of last year, I had Edmonton in six all the way. I did not see LA beating Edmonton, and Edmonton beats LA in six, just as like I predicted. So there you go. And I, but this belief, believe Edmonton is going to win the Stanley Cup at this point. So looking good for me at this point. Now Boston and Florida. Boston historic season, greatest regular season in NHL history. Sixty-five wins, one hundred and thirty-five points, unbelievable. They're up three games to one. They win game one, lose game two, win games three and four in Florida. I need to win one of the next three against this wild card two Florida Panthers who got in on the last day of the season, essentially. And they blow it. They lose game five in overtime off a horrible turnover by Allmark. Game six is a shootout. They lose seven to five. In game seven, they're up. Florida ties it late once again. And they lose in overtime. Carter Verhage gets the goal and starts Florida's run. 
The, the President's Trophy winners are out in the first round. The greatest NHL team in history is out in the first round. Toronto and Tampa. A series which I finally picked Toronto to win a series, and they did win the series. And the only difference was I had it going just like Boston, Florida. I had that one going six. They ended up going seven. Toronto, Tampa, I had a, had going six, and it ends. Or I had going seven, and it ends up going six. Toronto avenges their curse. Nineteen years without winning a series is over. Tampa Bay, the defending finalist, their streak of Stanley Cup finals is over. And yeah, um, congrats to Toronto and Tampa for doing stuff that hasn't been seen really recently. Toronto winning a series and Tampa going to three finals in a row. Um, so, we almost had a battle with Florida in the second round again. I was kind of hoping for it, but who knows. Um, Carolina and the Islanders. Um, so, this was Atlantic 1, Wild Card 2. That was also in the Atlantic. Wild Card uh, number 2 Atlantic, number 3 Atlantic. You have Metropolitan 1 and number 1 in the East, or site number 2 in the East. Uh, against Wild Card 1, New York Islanders. We're also in the Metropolitan. I had that series going 7. Carolina ends up beating them in 6, I believe. Yes, that's true. So Carolina moves on. Southeastern teams had a pretty good run, aside from Tampa. Yeah, Tampa's the only Southeastern team I could say that, or far Southeast. Washington could be considered Southeast, I don't know. But, um, yeah. So Devils and Rangers, this was an upset to me. I believe the Rangers, with their experience and all their star power, that they were going to beat the Devils easily. And it looked after beating 5-1 in both games 1 and 2 in New Jersey that it was going to happen. The Devils win Game 3 in overtime, which shifts the entire series completely. They win Game 4 and Game 5. Game 6, the Rangers win because of Shesterkin. In Game 7, the Devils dominate. They move on and defeat the Rangers. Both New York teams are out here. In the second round, you have Seattle taking on Dallas. I'm not sure why I put it there. And I really thought Seattle was going to pull it off. They had a 2-1 series lead. They came back from 3-2 down, they dominated Dallas at home almost, um, and um, they win 7-2, I think it was game 3 or game 4, and problem was they weren't, they did not have home ice advantage apparently because they were winning at home, but Dallas ends up winning the series in 7 games, we were so close to an all expansion conference final as the number 2 in the central t- takes out the wild card 1. That was the one part of the bracket I got right, Dallas going to the conference final. Now, Vegas and Edmonton. I originally had that series going five games when I predicted it in my bracket. I had Dallas and Seattle I didn't have predicted, so I didn't really do it, but I had Dallas beating Colorado in seven. I had Edmonton beating Vegas in five. What happens, Vegas beats Edmonton in six, and my bracket is toasted. And well, that's kind of why I'm wearing this, my Vegas light-up reverse retro too. You actually can see the light-up if you like block out the hand there. You can see like barely the if you can get the darkness. There is a little bit of light up you can see there. And um, first jersey ever light up in history, I don't remember. And um, yeah, so Vegas moves on to the conference final to play Dallas. We get a rematch of the 2020 conference final. For Florida and Toronto on the eastern side, Florida makes everyone forget that Toronto won a series. As They just obliterate them. They win games one and two in Toronto, game three in overtime at home. They lose game four, so Toronto gets one win in the second round. And then game five, they win in overtime. So Florida def- upsets Toronto as they move on to the next round. And um, all of a sudden, a wild card two is in the conference final. So that and, and knocks out the number one and two in Atlantic. Uh, Florida did, and not to mention, Florida did take out three. Of, they played four of the top five teams in the league and took out three of them. So we'll get to there, though. Because Carolina and New Jersey, I honestly thought New Jersey was in good shape to win this series when they first announced it. Or when it first got decided, not announced, of course not announced, but um, Carolina ends up beating them pretty uh, handedly, and they win that series in five games. So we have a Southeastern Conference Final with Florida and Carolina, and we have a rematch of 2020 in Vegas-Dallas. Vegas goes up three games to none against Dallas, and it looks like it's going to be a sweep. Dallas wins game four in overtime at home. Joe Pavelski with the winner there. Game five, they win, and everyone's like, "Oh boy, this this could be a historic three games to none comeback." And then Vegas wins game six, six nothing. So that got obliterated real quick, and Vegas ends up for their second time in the final. They avenge their 2020 loss to Dallas. They that, that happens in six games. 
And then Florida, Carolina. Carolina has not won a conference final game since 2006. They got swept in 2009. They got swept in 2019. Those were against Pittsburgh and Boston, respect- respectively. And then it happens again. Florida sweeps the Carolina Hurricanes. They win game one in quadruple overtime. Matthew Kachuk with the winner. Kachuk gets the winner again in game two in overtime. And then game three and game four. Game four, they score with four seconds left to win. And then game three was a one nothing goalie showdown. So we end up with a pretty southern final with Vegas and Florida. And then Vegas blows the doors off Florida, essentially, except for games three and four. But outscore them heavily, and at home, they dominated. 5-2, 7-2, 9-3. That was for games 1, 2, and 5. Games 3 and 4 in Florida, they lose 3-2 in overtime because Florida came back late. Uh, Kachuk ties it. Verhege gets the winner in overtime. And then game 3, they nearly blow a 3-0 lead, but they're able to hold on. They win 3-2 in that one. And your Stanley Cup final victory goes to the Vegas Golden Knights, who win their first Stanley Cup in franchise history and their sixth season history. So pretty interesting playoffs we had develop in front of us. The West wins for the second year in a row, and um, it looks like we're seeing a changing of the guard once again. In the early t- and from 2006 to 2015, we saw mostly Western. You had Carolina in the East, Pittsburgh in the East, Boston in the East. Everything else: Anaheim, Detroit, Chicago. Well, Detroit at the time, Chicago, LA, all in the West. Then Pittsburgh wins. Then uh, they win again, and then Washington, and then. Um, St. Louis gets the one in the West, but uh, Tampa wins two in a row. So that kind of, now we're starting seeing a shift back to the West. Colorado and Vegas back-to-back West winners. But yeah, that's going to be all I have for you guys th- today. Once again, this video will be up in two days, so by that time, it'll no one will even know this was known unless you watch the previous videos. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.